In this video, we'll be adding a PV source to our boost converter. So for this, we'll need to search for a PV source and replace the DC voltage source that we already have. Depending upon the maximum power and the input voltage, we'll have to, and the output voltage of course, we'll have to decide the number of strings in parallel and series. We'll remove the DC voltage source. We'll have to give an input values for temperature as well as irradiance. So we'll set the temperature to be 25 degrees Celsius. And the irradiance, it depends on what the PV and IV curve shows us. So the temperature depends as well. On it. So as you can see, the PV and IV curves correspond it's close to the values that we require. So in the in future videos we'll also be showing how to do an MPPT for the PV system. So we'll measure the input voltage. and we'll connect a capacitor across the ends of the solar panel. This is to try and maintain constant voltage over time. Capacitor produce, um, provides resistance to change in voltage. So as you can see that the voltage between the PV panel is not exactly what we require that's because I forgot to change the value of irradiance now as you can see the voltage between the PV panel is around 19 volts and the output voltage required was 38 volts and the simulated output voltage is also around 38 volts so that's it for this video thank you for watching our video if you have any queries kindly drop in the comment section and we'll have a detailed link which will be provided in the description for the design of the boost converter as well you can also watch our other videos which include the design of the boost converter. Thank you.